Hello everyone. So tell me if I'm right here. Most of us more or less know these two ways to earn money from cryptocurrencies. The first one is that you invest in these cryptocurrencies for long run and the second one is you trade in these cryptocurrencies for short term. But what if I told you there are several more ways you can actually earn money from cryptocurrencies? Well, these ways actually uh, form a part of something called as yield farming. And if you know how to do things correctly, you can earn crazy returns here. So hi again I'm Anushka here and in this video we'll understand what yield farming is and discuss few strategies at pillow we use a lot of these strategies to earn 18% interest for you on your crypto some of these strategies actually get a little complex which involves bridging different blockchains as well as paying gas fees but in this video we'll discuss few of the simpler strategies so that you get an idea of what we do at pillow so let's get started Getting started with yield farming is actually taking one step further in the crypto world and actively participating in it. So right now you must hold certain cryptocurrencies in your portfolio. Well, in yield farming, you actually further invest these cryptocurrencies in such a manner that you earn a yield or a return on it. If I have to give a real world example, let's say you hold a piece of land. Now, how will you earn from that possession? Well, one way is that the value of land will appreciate in the long run. And the second way is that you can uh, give that land out on rent and earn from that rental income. So this rental income that you get is your additional yield or a return that you're getting on your land. Similarly, with the cryptocurrencies that you hold, you can actually earn one way through the long-term appreciation of the value of the cryptocurrency and the second is that you can actually invest these cryptocurrencies in certain DeFi protocols or DeFi projects and earn an additional return there. In this video, we'll actually talk about few of these ways so that you will know what to do exactly. So the first way is to invest your tokens in liquidity pools. And I'm sure you'll ask me, Anushka, what are these liquidity pools? Well, let's understand that by taking the example of Polygonmatic. Now, at any given point of time, there are a group of people who are in requirement of Polygonmatic token. Now, either they want to trade or perform some transaction. And there is this another set of people who have Polygonmatic lying around. But the problem is that they don't know each other. And hence, these people who have excess Polygonmatic lying around can invest their uh, Polygonmatic into liquidity pools. And these people who require Polygonmatic can actually borrow from these liquidity pools. One such platform where you'll get these liquidity pools is SushiSwap. So let's now actually see the platform, the different liquidity pools and how you can exactly invest there. Okay, so we are at Sushi.com. Uh, we have to enter the app then. I've already linked my MetaMask wallet to this. So you'll have to do that first. Now here, when you go to all farms, you will actually see, um, one second, it is loading. Yeah. So all these that you see essentially are liquidity pools. Now the total value in the, uh, logged in these liquidity pools, the amount that is logged you can see here. You can actually see that the highest amount is 24 million that is logged. Uh, the rewards that are there for this liquidity pool is something that you'll see here. Now one more thing that you'll notice is that all these liquidity pools actually come in pair. Now that is essentially done to maintain the stability and balance of liquidity pool and that is how it works. So whenever you want to provide uh, liquidity to these pools, you will have to invest 50-50 of two tokens. Now whatever names that you see here, you have to provide 50-50% of that. Now depending upon the tokens you have, you can actually select the liquidity pools. Now for example, I already seem to have a lot of USDC, but I don't have sufficient USDT. So for every 1 or 1 1.5 USDC that I want to invest, I will uh, have to actually also have 1.5 or the same amount of USDT. And then only I can invest in this liquidity pool. So one way to do is, is to buy it from outside and then have enough in your wallet or else you can just swap your tokens here and um, get the necessary uh, tokens that you require to perform your transaction. So now I actually want 1.5 USDC or let's just do one USDC for USDT sorry for now. Uh, for that I'll have to give 0.6 Matic. I will quickly perform this transaction here. 
Okay, so I have swapped my MATIC tokens for USDT so that I can perform the transaction. Uh, one thing to note here is that ensure that you are on Polygon network and not Ethereum network. Uh, the default will be Ethereum. This is because the gas fees on Ethereum is very high, but the gas fees on Polygon is extremely low. So when you're learning, when you're still figuring out, uh, this is a very good place to start and you will not be charged exorbitant amount in terms of gas fees. Okay, so when I now go in this liquidity pool, I have one USDT that I have attested and I have one USDC that will automatically come because it has to be always done in 50-50% pair. Now I'll confirm adding the liquidity, I'll confirm my deposit. Um, it is actually showing my share of pool here. So I have 0.00002% share and uh, whatever total return or the total uh, interest that the pool is getting, I will get my stake in it. So my stake is actually this number, this fraction of a number. So essentially now I have to go to my wallet, confirm all the uh, depositing that is happening, give permissions. And once that is done, my tokens will be staked. Okay, so it was a success. Uh, my uh, tokens have been deposited. My status is still processing. Uh, once that is done, my tokens will have been um, invested in that particular liquidity pool and I'll earn my interest accordingly. Okay, so my transaction is done now. I can see that one USDT and one USDC, both of them are not showing in my wallet. So they're essentially actually in that liquidity pool. So the entire process was actually done by smart contracts and not Sushi. And that is why this is DeFi or decentralized finance. Okay, the second way you can earn return is by staking your liquidity pool tokens. Now, what exactly are these liquidity pool tokens? So when in the last transaction, we provided liquidity to the USDC, USDT pool, we actually received uh, SLP tokens uh, in return. Now, these SLP tokens are actually liquidity pool tokens that Sushi Swap gave me as a receipt that I have invested my USDC and USDT into that pool. Now, I can further go and stake these tokens. So, I can actually see that in my MetaMask wallet here that I have an asset called as SLP token. Now, these SLP tokens I received from Sushi Swap. And these are very a very small fraction here because the amount of the liquidity we provided was very small. But when I go to that liquidity pool, I will automatically find that I have some SLP tokens here that I can stake. So I can stake these tokens here. And once I confirm this, confirm it uh, on my MetaMask as well, I will start earning rewards on this as well, which will show here. Now here when I'm staking, I'm essentially locking my liquidity pool tokens into the SushiSwap platform. Now why exactly is SushiSwap giving me rewards for staking my liquidity pool tokens? Well, that is because SushiSwap wants to incentivize me to invest more or to provide more liquidity or tokens to the different liquidity pools. So that more liquidity I provide, more borrowers come to the transaction. Now, SushiSwap essentially earns a commission from whatever interest rate that is charged to the borrowers who are borrowing from these liquidity pools. So they want more and more people to come borrow and more people can only come borrow when more uh, the asset that are there in these liquidity pools, the amount is more. And that is why you earn a return on your uh, LP tokens or here the SLP token. Now, SushiSwap is just one of the many platforms where you'll find such liquidity pools. Other such platforms are QuickSwap, DYFN Exchange, my finance. Now the third strategy is actually being a part of liquidity mining programs. Now what are these liquidity mining programs? Well, whenever newer features are launched on a particular protocol or a new protocol itself is launched, a lot of them have marketing budgets in which they give out free tokens. But how exactly would you come to know that which protocol is giving out tokens? Well, for this, you will have to go to a lot of cryptocurrencies, Twitter and Discord channel and follow them there. For example, when Aave was launched on Polygon, a lot of free tokens were given. And right now, very soon, Aave is also being launched on Phantom. So now all you have to do is follow Aave and wait for the updates. And if you are lucky, you might actually even be able to earn 20-30% returns and earn free tokens here. 
Now I know initially it will be a little difficult for you to find these liquidity mining programs but with time if you follow the right people and be a part of the crypto community you will find these opportunities. With that we've discussed three ways through which you can start with your yield farming journey. Uh, there are a lot many more complicated ways but this video has been kept extremely beginner friendly with, uh, with what you can start. Having said all that there are a few risks that you should know about here. The first one is smart contract risk. Now liquidity pools have smart contracts which execute the transactions behind them. Now these smart contracts can have bugs and they can be hacked as well. The second risk is scam risk. Now whenever you put money or liquidity in liquidity pools, ensure that you are doing it with well-known projects and projects whose developers are known. You should also check if the pools that you invest in are audited or not. If the developers are not known and the project is fairly new, the developer can run away with your liquidity. Hence, stick to the top projects and always research about the projects where you're investing in. The third type of risk is price risk. The crypto markets are very volatile. With the recent correction, trading activity might go down which will result in less returns from liquidity pools. This is because if the markets are down, people will trade less and if people will trade less, they will borrow less and hence we will get a lower return from our liquidity pools. In addition to that, the tokens that we receive uh, as rewards, they will also have lower value making few of the more complex strategies unprofitable. With that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you now understand what yield farming is and few of the easier strategies. This is exactly what we do at Pillow, but only a little more complex. If you have any questions related to what we do at Pillow or on yield farming, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about cryptocurrencies. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.